Unit 1, Introduction to Computer History Overview This unit gives you an idea about the categories of the earliest computing device and the authors behind it as well as their main functionality. Furthermore, the development of the hardware electronic devices will be discussed as well as the types of computer system. Learning Objectives At the end of the unit, you should be able to 1. Classify the categories of earliest computing device. 2. Describe the classification of the generations of computers. 3. Define computer. 4. Recognize the types of computer system. In the history of calculating tools, human fingers are one of the earliest computing devices known. Because the first forms of computing relied solely on physical labor or mechanical devices, this may have been due to a lack of modern technology and electricity at the time. Our ancestor used their fingers as a kind of computation, presumably by varying the number of fingers on each hand, they were able to execute simple addition and subtraction operations at the time. But because finger counting also referred to as dactylonomy, which is the act of counting with one's finger has its limitations, our ancestors created sophisticated but difficult instruments that are used today. Sticks and stones were formerly employed as a computing equipment by our ancestors. It was only used to count numbers higher than 20. Pre-mechanical, mechanical, electromechanical, electro and electronic computing devices are the four categories of the earliest computer machines. A kipu is an intricate system of knotted strings of various colors that store and convey information. Kipu literally translates to knot in Quechua. Sometimes referred to as talking knots, they served as a writing system. Kipus were mainly used by the Incas as counting devices to keep track of numbers. Kipus function numerically like the decimal system. The single knot, the long knot, and the figure eight knot are the three different kinds of knots. Tens, hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands are represented by a single knot. The number of twists in the long knots, which symbolize 2 through 9, is shown. The figure 8 knot stands in for position 1. Alternatively referred to as the counting frame, an abacus is a mechanical device used to assist a person in performing mathematical calculations and counting. In addition to performing the fundamental mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, an abacus can compute roots up to the cubic degree. It is a manual calculating device using strips of ivory or other types of material that are divided into sections. The sections are marked with numbers or digits and are used primarily for multiplication and division. This particular method had its origins in lattice multiplication. The purpose is for quickly finding quotients and products of numbers. Napier's Bones is a manually operated calculator used to compute number products and quotients. It is also called arithmetic machine, the first calculator or adding machine to be produced in any quantity and actually used. It only had the ability to add and subtract, and numbers were entered by turning its dials. The analytical engine was, or would have been, the world's first general purpose computer. The analytical engine introduced a number of computing concepts still in use today. Features included a store and mill analogous to today's memory and processor. It is an automatic mechanical digital computer that is completely program controlled and general purpose. It would be capable of handling any computation given to it. The tabulating machine was an electromechanical machine designed to assist in summarizing information stored on punched cards. Further, the machine was developed to help process data for the 1890 US Census. The tabulating machine's objective was to accelerate the conversion of census data into a usable format that would satisfy the requirements of a nation that was going through a large increase in population from one decade to the next. Also known as the Harvard Mark I, the largest electromechanical calculator ever built and the first automatic digital calculator in the United States. 
the first digital computer and had a wide range of operations, including multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, logarithms, and trigonometric calculations. Stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, the first programmable general-purpose electronic digital computer, built during World War II by the United States. It was the first large-scale computer to run entirely on electrical components without any mechanical elements slowing it down. It was planned to be a modular computer to be comprised of multiple panels that carry out distinct duties. It could perform operations on 10-digit integers at 5,000 cycles per second thanks to its architecture and 100 kHz clock, while the fundamental machine cycle was 200 microseconds long. Stands for Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, it was one of the earliest large mainframe computers to be built in the 1940s. It was the first mainframe computer that represented binary systems rather than decimal systems. It was a binary serial computer with 1034 bit words of ultrasonic serial memory that could do automated addition, subtraction, multiplication, division by programming, and checking. The typical addition and multiplication times for EDVAC were 864 and 2900 microseconds, respectively. Stands for Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator, is a serial electronic calculating machine working in the scale of 2 and using ultrasonic tanks for storage. The main store consists of 32 tanks, each of which is about 5 feet long and holds 32 numbers of 17 binary digits, one being a signed digit. Cambridge's EDSAC, used mercury delay line memory. Originally designed for radar displays, delay lines provided memory for many first-generation computers. EDSAC's 32 mercury tanks could each hold 32 18-bit words. The evolution of computer technology is often divided into five generations. Each generation is typified by a significant technological expansion which basically changed the way computing machines operate. Computing machines in this generation utilized vacuum tubes as the main source to operate. First generation computers were based on machine language, which means computers that time could only decipher one problem at single operation. The IBM 701 electronic data processing machine, known as the defense calculator while in development, was IBM's first commercial scientific computer and its first series production mainframe computer, which was announced to the public on May 21, 1952. It was invented and developed by Jerry Erhadid and Nathaniel Rochester based on the IAS machine at Princeton. Computing machine in this generation utilized transistors as the main source to operate. Transistors were much better than vacuum tubes that make second generation computers become smaller and faster than first generation computers. The CDC 1604 was a 48 bit computer designed and manufactured by Seymour Cray and his team at the Control Data Corporation, CDC. The 1604 is known as one of the first commercially successful transistorized computers. Legend has it that the 1604 designation was chosen by adding CDC's first street address, 501 Park Avenue, to Cray's former project, the era Univac 1103. Computing machine in this generation utilized ICs as the main source to operate. Transistors were placed on chip made of silicon that makes them smaller and faster than the two generations. It was the time that monitors and keyboards evolve in computer world. The Honeywell 6000 series computers were rebadged versions of General Electric 600 series mainframes manufactured by Honeywell International Incorporated from 1970 to 1989. Honeywell acquired the line when it purchased GE's computer division in 1970 and continued to develop them under a variety of names for many years. Computing machine in this generation utilized microprocessor as the main source to operate. Microprocessors were made of thousands of ICs that design onto a single silicon chip. It was the time that mouse, GUI, and hand-carry electronic gadgets was developed. 
The Altair 8800 is a microcomputer designed in 1974 by MITS and based on the Intel 8080 CPU. Interest grew quickly after it was featured on the cover of the January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics and was sold by mail order through advertisements there, in Radio Electronics, and in other hobbyist magazines. The Altira is widely recognized as the spark that ignited the microcomputer revolution as the first commercially successful personal computer. The fifth generation computers can be based on AI. Nanotechnology, molecular technology, and quantum computation will completely change the computer technology in the future. Artificial intelligence, AI, refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. The term may also be applied to any machine that exhibits traits associated with a human mind such as learning and problem solving. Computing machine as referred at present is known as computer, it is an electronic computing machine that can process, retrieve, and store data. Further, a computer is a device that transforms data into meaningful information. It processes the input in accordance with the set of instructions the user provides it and produces the intended result. There are many different kinds of computers, and they may be divided into two groups based on their size and their ability to handle data. Today's computers are utilized for different types of purposes, such as, writing documents, editing photos and videos, internet browsing and gaming, and creating applications. So, on the basis of size, there are five types of computers, supercomputer, mainframe computer, mini computer, workstation, personal computer. On the other hand, on the basis of data handling capabilities, there are three types of computers, analog computer, digital computer, and hybrid computer. A supercomputer is a computer that performs at or near the highest operational rate for computers. Traditionally, supercomputers have been used for scientific and engineering applications that must handle massive databases, do a great amount of computation or both. Supercomputer architectures are made up of multiple central processing units, CPUs. These CPUs have groups composed of compute nodes and memory. Supercomputers can contain thousands of nodes that use parallel processing to communicate with one another to solve problems. The United States Frontier System is now the fastest supercomputer in the world. It's also the first exascale computer, meaning it can process more than a quintillion calculations per second an ability that could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, astronomy, and more. A mainframe computer is a large computer capable of rapidly processing massive amounts of data at high speeds. Mainframe computers by definition are computers that have a lot of memory and processors, so they can do billions of transactions and simple calculations in real time. A mainframe is used for transaction servers, commercial databases, and applications that need ample reliability, security, and speed. IBM said its Z Enterprise EC12 mainframe server is designed to help clients securely and quickly sift through massive amounts of data, meeting the demands of retail and other clients in the age of big data. Running at 5.5 GHz, IBM said the microprocessor that powers the mainframe is the fastest chip in the world. Processing speed is 25% faster than the previous model. A mini computer is a small general purpose computer that uses one or more processors to complete work. With limited expandability of processing power, RAM storage, they fall between microcomputers and mainframe computers. The HP 3000 series is a family of 16 bit and 32 bit mini computers from Hewlett Packard. It was designed to be the first mini computer with full support for time sharing in the hardware and the operating system features that had mostly been limited to mainframes, or retrofitted to existing systems like Digital's PDP-11, on which Unix was implemented. First introduced in 1972, the last models reached end of life in 2010, making it among the longest-lived machines of its generation. A workstation computer is a PC designed to accomplish professional tasks. Unlike standard computers, 
Workstations typically have specialized components that are optimized to handle heavy computational or graphical tasks such as professional rendering, video editing, VFX, or scientific calculations. Mac Pro is a series of workstations and servers for professionals that are designed, developed, and marketed by Apple Inc. since 2006. The Mac Pro, by some performance benchmarks, is the most powerful computer that Apple offers. It is one of four desktop computers in the current Macintosh lineup, sitting above the Mac Mini, iMac, and Mac Studio. It is also known as a microcomputer. It is basically a general-purpose computer and designed for individual use. It consists of a microprocessor as a central processing unit, memory, input unit, and output unit. This kind of computer is suitable for personal work such as making an assignment, watching a movie, or at office for office work, etc. The Dell XPS 8940 is a pre-built home and gaming desktop computer first released in 2020. The motherboard is using the H470 chipset and supports 10th gen Intel Core processor, and 128GB of DIMM DDR4-2666-2933 memory. Dell XPS 8940 comes pre-built with dedicated graphics card with HDMI or DisplayPort output. Analog computer, any of a class of devices in which continuously variable physical quantities, such as electrical potential, fluid pressure, or mechanical motion, are represented in a way analogous to the corresponding quantities in the problem to be solved. The analog system is set up according to initial conditions and then allowed to change freely. Answers to the problem are obtained by measuring the variables in the analog model. It is one of the most basic analog computing devices designed in the early 17th century, around 1630s, by William Oofdred. Slide rules was initially used for multiplication and division. A little later, it was found to be applicable in exponential, logarithmic, and trigonometric functions as well. A digital computer is machine that stores data in a numerical format and performs operations on that data using mathematical manipulation. This type of computer typically includes some sort of device to store information, some method for input and output of data, and components that allow mathematical operations to be performed on stored data. Digital computers are almost always electronic but do not necessarily need to be so. The Atanasoff, Berry computer was the first automatic electronic digital computer. Limited by the technology of the day, and execution, the device has remained somewhat obscure. The ABC's priority is debated among historians of computer technology, because it was neither programmable, nor Turing complete. Conventionally, the ABC would be considered the first electronic arithmetic logic unit, which is integrated into every modern processor's design. Hybrid computers combine the capabilities of an analog and a digital computer. Before processing, it receives analog signals and converts them to digital form. The major goal of hybrid computers was to create computers that could deal with both analog and digital data. Analog data is continuous data, such as pressure or temperature, whose value changes over time, whereas digital data is discrete data. The brochure presents the HiComp 250 as a low-cost, high-speed hybrid desktop computer that consists of the PB250 digital computer and the T50 analog computer. The brochure is printed on tan paper and is hole-punched for placement in a three-ring binder. The front cover shows a black and white photograph of the digital and the analog computers, the back cover gives lists of system specifications. The company logo is displayed on both front and back cover. The centerfold page text discusses the hybrid system showing in a labeled diagram how the PB250 connects to the T50 and other standard analog computers. Text contents include, features, PB250 computer, uses, application areas, system description, analog to digital conversion, buffer and control, digital to analog conversion, analog mode control, system specifications.